guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm going to be talking about underrated science fiction and fantasy. So this is a booktube SFF babbles topic, which I said I was going to do the topics this year. I missed the last one and I actually had some really good answers for the last one. And I'm actually also a day late on this one as well because I'm just like not on time with anything booktube sff this year this was one that i really didn't think i wanted to do and part of the reason why i didn't really want to do this particular one is because i recently already did an underrated fantasy recommendations list and i didn't want to repeat myself a lot on this topic but i decided to do this one anyway i feel like i have a few more underrated sci-fi and fantasy books that I would like to talk about on this list. So I decided to do this topic anyway, and I'm not gonna repeat myself from my previous video that I did. So if you wanna check out my previous underrated fantasy recommendations, I will link that up in the cards for you guys because I feel really strongly about all of the recommendations that I said in that video and highly recommend all of those books. So for this one, I'm gonna be talking about two sci-fi and two fantasy books slash series that I think are very underrated and more people should read. The first book I want to talk about is The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. So this book, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this book. The booktuber that recommended this book that made me decide that I wanted to pick up this book was Emily Fox from Books with Emily Fox. She talked about this book a little bit a couple of years ago. So I picked this book up when I saw it on Book Outlet and I didn't really know that much what it was about other than the fact that it's about a character who lives the same life over and over again. And this book was wild and great. I do think that like if you've read Recursion by Blake Crouch, it has kind of a similar style to Recursion. It's about a character named Harry August who when he dies, he's reborn back at the same time from when he was born the first time but with all the memories of his previous life. And he finds this sort of society of people that are like him and they are able to change and manipulate the world in interesting ways based on their future knowledge. And I loved this. This was so, so well done. It was really fun to read. I do think I hindered myself a little bit in reading this because I read it around the same time that I read Recursion by Blake Crouch, which Recursion is a little bit more action packed and a lot more people were talking about it at the time. So I was a little bit more into that one, but this one is also really well done and I think is a fantastic read. It gets really dark at times. I love the characters in here and it was just such a fun book and it is also pretty action-packed. If you like like reliving lives or time travel and things like that, I highly recommend this one. It was really, really well done and I really enjoyed it. So the next series I wanna talk about is one that I feel like does not get enough love and that's the Firebird Trilogy by Claudia Gray, which includes a Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds With You. So this is a YA sci-fi series following the character of Marguerite, who is a traveler. There's this technology called the Firebird, which lets people travel between worlds. So this is going off of the idea of the many worlds theory in physics, in which for every decision that you make, there is another world in which you have made that decision basically. So there are many parallel worlds in which the same people live in those worlds or existed in those worlds in some way, but their life and their situations are different based on the choices that they have made. And this Firebird technology, it lets a person travel to another world into the body of their doppelganger in that world and take over their body basically and sort of live their life but um, obviously they can come back and do other things. So the main character, Marguerite, is considered a perfect traveler, which means she basically just to keep her memories when she goes to live in these other bodies, which is really cool. And it's just such a fun, action-packed YA series with really great mysteries and reveals. Like I really loved the way the plot was written in here and I loved all of the characters. Also, it's of course a many worlds trope, which I love multiple worlds books. Like I absolutely loved it, which is why I decided to pick up the series because I've heard that this series was really good if you like multiple worlds tropes. I was a little disappointed when I found out that it was sci-fi and not fantasy, but man, this was so well done and I absolutely loved this series. I haven't heard like pretty much 
anyone talk about this series, which is weird because BookTube talks about YA all of the time. So I definitely think this is an underhyped series that more people need to read because it was so action-packed and fun and there is a little bit of a romance in there if that's what you're into and i really really enjoyed this one as well now we're gonna get to some of the underhyped fantasy books that i'd like to talk about so the first one i don't know if most people would consider this underhyped but i consider it underhyped and that's the shadow of what was lost by james islington so i know a lot of people have read this book but i feel like not a lot of people on booktube have read this book or if they have read it they haven't liked it that much. And part of the reason why I was a little skeptical in picking this book up is because a lot of the people who I watch on booktube have read it and haven't really liked it that much or just thought it was okay. And I read this and I absolutely love this. I love the atmosphere of this book. Every time I picked up this book, I was just so happy to be back reading this book. So in this world, there are these all powerful sort of characters named augurs who used to rule the world, but they were overthrown years ago. And now they are held to these tenants where there's this basically like a brand sort of thing on their arm that holds them to these ideals that they can't do things like attack a person who is not an auger and things like that. So we're following the main character of Davian who is an auger and he's living in this world and there is tons of great action. I just love the setup of it. It's very much of a classic high fantasy setup but it has very much its own creativity and originality to it. I love the magic system in this. I absolutely love the characters. I think the characters are really well done. I like how there are multiple characters in their story lines weave together really well and I just love the atmosphere of this book every time I picked up this book I was just so happy to pick it up because I felt like I was in a high fantasy world and I felt like I was living in this world with these characters and it was just a great time also I really liked that there were certain tropes that I just really like I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to give away too much but it is really really fantastic and I absolutely love this. It's definitely going to be potentially one of my favorite series of all time. Mind you, I've only read the first book in the series. There are two other books, but I'm really excited to get to those. I think this book is fantastic, and I don't know why everyone else just seems to think it's meh, because it's amazing, and I absolutely loved it. And kind of along the same lines is the Soldier Sun trilogy by Robin Hobb, which includes Shaman's Crossing, Forest Mage, and Renegade's Magic. So I've actually only read the first two books in this series. I haven't yet gotten to Renegade's Magic. I will be getting to it soon. But along the same lines as the last book that I talked about, I do think a lot of people have read this series. I have not heard almost anyone talk about this series on booktube. And every time that I have heard them talk about it, it's almost always in a negative light. I have not heard a single person actually like the series and I'm really enjoying it like really enjoying it now mind you I might be a little biased because I consider Robin Hobb to be one of my favorite authors of all time and while I don't think this series is as good as the realm of the elderlings which I consider one of my favorite series of all time I do think that it is a solidly good series that deserves way more love than it gets I absolutely love Robin Hobb's very atmospheric and detailed writing style that really lets you get into the story and feel like you're part of this world. She has such great character driven stories. Now mind you, it is not action packed, which is probably why the series is not as hyped as other series. And there are also a lot of social political issues that this series in particular brings into the story that I feel like take up a lot of the space of the plot instead of like the action that most high fantasy books have but I absolutely love every second of this series and I can't believe how hard Robin Hobb is on her characters like this series so far is just devastating and I love every second of it and I feel like it deserves way more love than it actually gets so I definitely recommend this as an underhyped fantasy series and think that more people should read it. I do recommend though, if you want to get into Robin Hobb, to read her other series, The Realm of the Other Links first, specifically the Live Ship Trader series. I think it's a great place to start with Robin Hobb's writing. It's my second favorite trilogy that she has, but after you've read all of The Realm of the Elderlings, if you want more Robin Hobb in your life, 
the Soldier Sun trilogy is a great series to read and I really, really love it so far. So those are my recommendations for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, I do have that other video where I have more underwriter recommendations in case you guys want to get a few more because I know this was a pretty short video. Let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books. I would love to discuss with you guys. I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos if you want to be notified as soon as I upload. You can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. Also, show me links in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!